Hey guys, it's Jamie, and today I'm going to be talking about some trans 101 help advice. Things you can do when you're just starting out your social transition. Baby trans stuff. Advice. Things. Binding, packing, and underwear. Basically, I'm going to be talking about those three things in this video. They're three things that some of them for me and some of them I've seen for others can really help with dysphoria, getting gendered correctly in certain situations, and just like making you feel a bit more comfortable with yourself. And they can also be really exciting aspects of transitioning and be big steps to take in terms of being yourself. So yeah, as I said, I'm going to be talking about binding, packing, and underwear. Before I jump straight into binding, I just want to say a massive thank you to the underwear expert for helping Helping with the underwear aspect of this video. I think underwear can be such an important thing when transitioning. It seems like such a small thing, but for a lot of people it can be a big deal. So I just, I love working with these guys. I've worked with them before and I just think what they do is great. So I'm very happy to be like, hashtag ad. Don't be mad at me. It does make sense. I hope you guys don't mind. <laughs> so being a baby trans and just starting out your social transition and everything can be a, like a massively scary and just confusing time, but it can also be very freeing as well. And there are just a few things that you can do that can like help with this process and they helped me with my own process in the beginning and everything. So the first thing I'm going to talk about in this video is binding. Now binding is a process where you wear something to flatten your tre trest? Trest. Your chest to create a more male typical appearance. The best and safest way to do this is to use an official binder from somewhere like Underworks or GC2B. I've heard great things about the latter and I used to wear Underworks binders when I used to bind, but there are loads of different companies coming up and it's amazing to see that places are trying to make binding as easy as possible because it's not really the funnest thing to do or the most comfortable. It could be emotionally comfortable and help with dysphoria, but physically they're very, very tight. I feel some kind of like dad trans duty to just state some of like the boring T's and C's and safety stuff of wearing a binder. So do not exceed eight hours in any one chunk of time with wearing your binder. Take as many breaks as possible and when you do take some like deep breaths in. Never sleep in your binder. Never wear a binder that is too small for you. Never wear more than one binder at the same time and do not use things like bandages or tape because they're just not designed to bind your chest and they can restrict your breathing and cause permanent damage. Okay that's a serious bit over. I really do not mean to sound like your trans dad, but I just felt like I had to point out some of the safety things. So moving downwards slightly, we are going to packing. This bit is all about the dick. It's all about what's in your pants and creating a bulge in your pants underwear. Packing is something that can be done by getting yourself a proper little floppy or not so floppy silicone penis. Some examples are Mr. Limpies or you can do it on the cheap with just a pair of socks. Some packers can also be used for like dual functions so you can pack with them and pee or you can use them for packing and for sex. I do think there are some that are three in one but I've heard that they can be a little bit awkward when it comes to packing because they're typically quite big. It's all about figuring what you want to primarily use your packer for. If it's just for packing I would recommend for going just something like cheap and cheerful and on the smaller side. Bigger is not always best and if you get yourself a very very large packer like eight inches just for packing it can look a little bit awkward so I would definitely recommend getting the extra small size which is like three and a half to four inches which is around the average size of a flatted flatted flaccid penis anyway but obviously if you want to use it for sex purposes you might want something a little bit bigger so maybe you want multiple you can have a whole array of penises you can have a selection of dicks <laughs> And I think on that note, that's everything I have to say about packing. Finally, leading on from packing, because it can be quite important when it comes to packing, is underwear. The underwear that you're about to see me in in this video, so don't leave just yet, <laughs> or maybe do leave if you don't want to see it, is brought to you by the underwear expert. As I said, I've worked with these guys before and I really love what they do. Getting men's underwear for the first time for me felt like a really big deal. I, I don't know what it was. I felt very uncomfortable wearing like underwear from the women's section and there was just something about wearing men's underwear, like boxes and that, that just made me feel a bit more confident and it was just something that I enjoyed. And even if you're not out underwear, as long as you've got somewhere to like hide them and you can wash them discreetly is something that you can have in a more discreet way than just like your whole wardrobe or anything and it can just make you feel a bit more comfortable and be kind of like something that makes you feel a bit more like yourself and this is something that the underwear expert is really good with because their packaging is incredibly discreet it's just got a delivery label and then if you're outside the US it will have a customs label but nowhere does it say it's underwear in terms of packing you can get underwear like jock straps or briefs which are a bit tighter fitting and they can hold a packet in place a bit better 
sweater and then a pair of boxer briefs can be worn over the top of that or you can get yourself a proper packing harness which will hold your packer in place because let me tell you you do not want a packer making its way down your trouser leg when you're in public it's just not a good look and then it's also important to find which type of underwear you enjoy whether you like boxer briefs or just briefs or trunks which are kind of in the middle I think so my most recent underwear expert subscription I got one pair of each so I've got a pair of boxer briefs a pair of trunks and a pair of briefs and just as a quick demonstration I'm gonna try each pair on for you now Ta-da! Enjoy. Or don't. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so first pair is the boxer briefs. They're a bit longer on the leg and kind of quite loose fitting. I really like this brand as well. They're so soft. Mossman. Yeah, boxer briefs. And here are the trunks. They're a bit tighter, a little bit shorter in the leg. They like cling to the thigh a bit, which is why they're not necessarily like my favourite to get because they're just a bit clingy. I don't know. And from the back, I hope all this like prancing around in my underwear is worth it. I'm just doing it because I literally had no idea where to start with underwear. And I just thought it might help to go over some different styles. I did make a video where I went like way more in detail about each type of underwear and what it's like packing with each. And I'll leave the link to that below. And these are the briefs. I, I really like the waistband of these. I just like the gold. I think it looks really good. Briefs are the best if you're still having your monthly cycle and you use pads. So much easier for placement in these. And they can also work really well for packing because they tend to just be a bit like tighter to hold stuff in place on the road. So yeah, that's it for me, like dancing around in underwear. Back to the rest of the video. So if you're looking for some underwear, like your first pair of men's underwear, or you just fancy some new ones because your old ones have got holes in and you know you need to get some new ones, but you've just been putting it off, then maybe the underwear expert is for you. And also in the lead up to Christmas. Yes, I said the C word. I'm very sorry. I realise it's early November, but it's never too early to start planning. If you're looking for a gift to get somebody and you think that this might help them out, then I would recommend checking out The Underwear Expert because they also do gift subscriptions now as well. So you can either get a subscription for yourself and jump straight in with getting started, or you can get a gift subscription for somebody else from Gift the Club on the website. And then you can personalise your subscription, choosing how many pairs of underwear, so either one, two or three pairs in each subscription box, and whether you get that subscription box every one, three or six months. You'll also base your sizing on like the waistband size so like you measure your waist and like the waist so you know like if you're like a 30 inch waist that's what you put in rather than small medium or large and this is perfect because sometimes I'm a small and sometimes I'm a medium and it really irritates me when I get a pair of pants and they're just way too tight I prefer looser to tight so you know but this one bases it on your waist size so even if brands come up a bit smaller or a bit larger you will always get the right size and with my subscription boxes I always choose the underwear I'm gonna get I do like a good surprise but I'm also quite picky with underwear so I like being able to choose exactly which pairs I'm gonna get but you could just leave it up to Lucky Dip It's completely up to you and you could get a lovely pants surprise every so often Once you've made all these selections about what your subscription is gonna be You can change anything at any point so the sizing your preference on colors or styles anything like that And you can even add socks into your box now So if you are thinking about getting your first set of men's underwear or you want to gift some to somebody else Then check out the link down below to get 30% off your first month or just visit theunderwearexpert.com and use the code JAMMYGIFT for the same deal. So that is all three things guys, binding, packing and underwear. I hope that this video could help you with some info on like places to get started, things you can do to feel a bit more comfortable with yourself, things that might ease dysphoria, help with passing and just stuff that you could get a bit excited about like the underwear. These three things were like the holy trinity of transitioning when I first started out. In the end packing wasn't for me but binding really helped with my dysphoria and it like got me through the time before I had tops surgery and I've always been a massive fan of fun underwear so the idea of getting underwear in the post is just I don't know it's exciting to me so I'm really glad that I can give you guys a discount if you're looking to get some new pants but yeah that is everything guys as always thank you so so much for watching and yeah I'll see you next time much love bye